Chancellor is a little bit concerned that we're starting to see risks building up in the housing markets. Uh, sorry, the governor of the Bank of England is starting to see that. Are you concerned? No. I mean, at the moment, we're currently delivering less than 50% of what the mayor's numbers and everybody else's numbers say we actually need to be delivering. So we've got a massive undersupply in the market. The headline-grabbing numbers that are making the headlines in the newspapers are a very small amount of the market that is selling at high prices in a very small part of London that's being sold at prices that are not reflective of the market in general. There is a big demand. There is a massive demand. So that's the demand story. There is massive demand. The problem is, I guess, is that there isn't massive supply right now. No, it's, it's, it's restricted desperately by planning. Across the London, across London is the city of London, we've got 33 separate boroughs, 33 separate planning departments, each with their own strategies, each with their own importance and levels of issues that are important to them. Because of that, it makes it impossible to make any significant inroads into the big numbers that we require. I believe that the government needs to introduce something similar to the Olympic Delivery Authority, which managed to take a whole chunk of London and build almost 3,000 apartments and everything that was required in terms of infrastructure to build the Olympics in a short period of time. So you need, you need a body with statutory powers that can basically bigfoot over the local authorities? It's what happened at the Olympic Delivery Authority. Something with statutory powers, that is the only thing that's going to make a significant difference. And choose nodes across London that have good transport links, existing good transport links, and build tall buildings around those nodes, and that's the only way you can make significant inroads into the massive shortage that we have. But the, the Chancellor's sort of focusing on the demand side of the equation. The help to buy schemes, etc., are all seem to be very much demand-driven rather than supply-driven. Yes, I know he's focusing now maybe some of those uh, policies towards new homes, but nevertheless, it's, it's still very much a demand side of the equation story that we're getting from inside the house. All of the demand side and all of the strategies that they've put in place to support the demand side have been very successful. And that's reflective in the headlines today where you see that there is talk of overheat in the market because people can buy and people are buying homes. But the reality is the supply isn't there. So while the headlines are being made in London in terms of prices and overheating potentially in London market, it's not the reality. We need 42,000 new homes a year in London. Last year we built less than 18,000. This year we'll probably do 20,000. You can't have 20,000 shortages in your target numbers every year and expect to reflect in any way, shape or form an overheating of the market. How different is the London market to the rest of the country right now? It's significantly different. I mean, in terms of the the strategies that are put in place for the help to buy and new buy and, and, and the like, that really hasn't taken off in London because it hasn't been required in London. The London market generally works with people selling off of plan, developers yes. building in advance and selling off plan. All of those strategies in terms of help to buy, they are aligned with mortgage offers. Yeah. Mortgage offers expire in six months. So we can't, companies like ourselves that build off of plan, sometimes and sell years in advance, it just doesn't work for that. So people that are buying from us cannot avail of those, yeah. avail of those at all. How many of the homes that you sell are sold to London residents and how many of those are sold to people that are living outside the UK? Well, it, it varies, but recent, it varies. The very central prime London is predominantly sold outside of the UK. The outskirts, zones 2, 3 and 4, they're significantly higher London owners. We recently had a launch of a development in East London, which we launched first in London and we sold 215 apartments in one weekend on the 14th, 15th and 16th of February. And they were all to Londoners buying in London, even though this is a development that's not going to be done for two and a half years' time. So Londoners are keen and Londoners are out there.